It's Friday, the 20th of April, 2018. And that can mean one thing and one thing only, that it's time for today's biscuit of biscuit. I've forgotten what I did. I forgot. How do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do? I need to start again. I need to start again. How do we do this? We're in the pub. Hi, it's me. It's your host, Edward C. Lewis. How are you doing? Where have you been? How have you been? What have you been doing? How's your face? Um, and all of the usual uh, lovely questions that I always ask on this live stream. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on. I'm here in the pub. Um, we're in this new streaming room. Uh, uh, well, it's the pub. The lighting's all off. I look kind of grey, a little bit. Do I look a little grey? Oh, is it, is it quite sharp? Oh, oh, we've got the light. We've got blackout lighting in here. We've got, like, uh, soundproofing that is hanging from the ceiling. Not yet. Apparently, they're coming on a Monday. So all of this that I've just set up today, all of this streaming room that I've just set up today has to be removed. I have to take it all out and then place it back in again on Monday afterwards as well. So you might be able to hear a little echo. Do you hear that? 
Anyway, how are you all doing? It's a little green. It needs, needs fine tuning, but it's crisp, says James Turner YouTube. And if there's one person in the world that I believe it is, James Turner YouTube. Thank you so much, James Turner YouTube, for coming along. So, uh, Jack Little, Late Radio, Commander the Thing is DC, FC, Miguel 13, Orange Spark, Commander Benkai, Jack Little, RKMN Gaming, Farito, Joel VV, Jack Little, Orange Spark again. All of the best ones have come. I am here streaming live from the new building for the very first time. This is our overspill room. We actually have a room downstairs as well, which is like a studio that has like a sofa set up and it has like a um, uh, multi-switching technology that I have no idea how to use, but I'm gonna learn. We have like a backdrop where we're gonna put frontier props on there. So if you wanna put any frontier props, any suggestions, then send them over my way. But what are we doing here today? What are we doing here today? Well, today, of course, the most important the most important live stream of the week because it has been over a month since we've done this live stream and it's been over three weeks since we've done an official live stream as well from the YouTube channels. So we're here, we're back where we need to be in the pub where we all belong and it's extremely important and thank you so much for joining me and thank you for coming back. Like 40 of you already after taking a month off, four of you jumped back in so I really do appreciate it. But the most important thing of the day of course is um, well, we've got the biscuit review coming up, and it's a very special biscuit review, of course, because guess what makes homemade cookies? It's the new canteen here in the new building. So I'm gonna be reviewing the new canteen's new biscuits, which is very exciting indeed. I think it's one of my 187th biscuit that we're gonna be reviewing. Uh, and then also, what else do we have? Well, oh, well, I know. I mean, maybe we can hear. Hold on, if I, hmm. If I put on these lovely set of new DT770 Pros, not sponsored by DT770, um, and I put these on here for a second. Mm, oh, comfortable, like a little hug of the head. They're maybe a little chunky, but oh god, the the sound quality is fine. Um, so yeah, we're all going to be learning how to use all of this uh, this new content and this new uh, this new equipment together. So do bear with me while I sort of nervously scramble around trying to fix things and get things ready. Uh, Snowy Monk, I've missed you too. And Vampiro, it's good to see you back online. Yes, we're going to be back online. And I cannot wait to get the streaming room downstairs sorted out because the streaming room downstairs is going to be absolutely uh, incredible. Like it's going it, to it's going to look we're stepping it up another level basically it looks good now in here this is our overspill room so this is when there's going to be multiple games doing multiple streams all at once so it's super super exciting hey rkm gaming sorry i haven't been able to pop into the streams lately well i, I haven't done any so to be fair you haven't missed anything literally uh snowy monk are you sure you want to review the canteen biscuits so early in your new time in the new offices yeah I think it's a good shout because also i'd forgotten to bring any of the old biscuits over so you know i was scrambling around looking for something to review I'm looking forward to the new stream, me too. All right, so, um, well, there's one thing that we do here on the, the Biscuits and the Biscuit Review, and that is invite uh, a very special man to come and spend some time with us. So if I, well, I've got the new control system here. It's all very high tech. Um, and what I'm gonna do is let's see if we can tweak the settings on the static. What, who, who's that? Can we hear, can we hear? Is, Hello. Oh, like, is that a is that a WNL, Walter Neil Lewis? How are you doing? Pretty good yourself. Yeah, very good. As I said, we we just moved into this new building, so I'm still trying to get used to things here in the office. But it is um, it's it seems to be going sort of semi swimmingly. I mean, I'm live and I'm still live. I'm still making sounds. Apparently, the camera looks crisp, so crisp, I'm feeling crisp. good. It is crisp. Like a, a morning with snow, you know. Like a, That's like right. Yes, yeah, crisp. A, like a, um, uh, what kind of, what's your favorite flavor of crisp? Favorite, favorite flavor of what? Crisp. Crisp. Oh, sorry. Um, Should I say chips for you? Because chip, you don't understand chips. Chip. Potato if, chips. If you, if you investigate the word, you realize you can go all the way back to Alexander Pope. He took the name of his nymph, that little nymph, Crispissa, from the whole idea that what you would do, I think it comes originally from the Latin, you slice it very thinly, and when you, it, it curls. So that's, crisp means that it curls up. It's just a matter of slicing very thinly. So if you have a fat one, it can be a chip, um, but a crisp, you know, yeah. And that's the reason. First, the curled nature, the curled nature of the chip. 
And that's why you come to these streams, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentle friends, for WNL's endless wisdom. That's right, Orange Spark. WNL's wisdom is absolutely endless. Well, thank you so much for that. Um, who are you and what are you doing here? For those who don't know who, who this man is, this man is my dad. His name's Walter Neil Lewis. We like to call him WNL for short. And what he does is he comes into these streams and he, gives, he comes to the pub. Of course, because remember, this is a pub. Well, I might turn the elevator music down a little, sorry. He comes along to the pub. And, uh, well, he gives us a quiz once a week on a Friday. Uh, and it's me versus the chatter. Well, I'm, I'm stealing your thunder, good sir. Why don't you explain the rules for the lovely chatters at home? Okay, it's, well, it's quite easy. Basically, we have a quiz of 10 questions. And, uh, well, you, the chatters, are pitting your wits against Edward. Uh, he'll turn off uh, the chat stream as far as he's concerned. He won't see your answers. I'll take the first three answers you give me on each question. Uh, if we have consensus, that's your answer. No consensus, I will take the first of the first three answers. Um, no cheating, no no, no Googling, no anything like that. We can tell. It's, it's just on yeah. your faces. Yeah. The guilt shows. We have like a, um, a, 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 a sort of inbuilt radar type filter thing that just sort of a automatically picks them. A guiltometer. Of a guiltometer. Very good, yeah. So uh, basically, oh, and thank you so much, Fred Munchkin Game for the host. That's awesome. Baldy Walker says, wow, Ed in 1080p. Does it really look that good? I think it looks pretty good, right? It looks pretty sharp. I'm just lounging around. Also, look at this. Watch this. I can go like all the way back here and be like, just sort of lounging, just lounging around, showing off my new sneaks, just sort of chilling. Um, that was quite good, Dad, didn't it? It could fit like a whole room f full of people in here, in the pub now. Uh, what drink do you want, by the way, while we're, while we're waiting? for everyone to filter in? Uh, I'll have a sarsaparilla. A sarsaparilla? Pete! Yes. Peter! Sarsaparilla! He doesn't know what one of those are. He doesn't know what one of those are, I'm afraid. It's a very difficult word to spell, actually. Have a go. Have a go at spelling sarsaparilla. Look, I... It's pronounced I... sarsaparilla. I didn't come here for a. I didn't come here for a spelling test. All right. I know there's going to be a quiz against me, and I'm going to, I know I'm going to lose. I know I'm going to look ridiculous, and I'm going to look stupid. But you don't want to make me look stupid more than once on this stream. All right. So let's. Should, well, first of all, how have you been? What have you been up to? Um, well, you really don't want to know, but it, it has been a very busy week. I've been to Blackpool Football Club, not to watch the football, but to uh, more or less speak, object against um, fracking. And Quadrilla's plans for the uh, the filed coast. Ah, the old anti-fracking Lewis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, that's well it. known for your anti-fracking campaigns. But it's you been, can all it... check me out online. I spoke yesterday. Yes. All right, we have some um, attempts in the chat at spelling sarsaparilla. Jack Little says S A S A P A R I W -R A. You're getting close. It's uh, sarsaparilla. No, it's not. S A R. S A P A R I L L A. I refuse to accept that it's sarsaparilla, but fine. Sar sarsaparilla, sarsaparilla. Why do people still frack? I know. Hey, look, this is not um, an anti-fracking uh, live stream. Um, it's not a pro-fracking live stream either. It's 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 neutral. We like to be politically it's neutral on this live stream because we have no real opinions for ourselves because we're super safe and friendly. We're friendly to everybody. Anybody, whatever you want to do, you can come and watch this stream and join in the quiz. Please, please join us. Um, oh, by the way, I also got to do a really fun thing as well, which is use the on, on stream live button. I've got a little button I can press and then a little red light comes on outside and it says, it flashes and it says live now. So then people know not to come in and disturb. And they've actually been really handy because they just turned the light off outside as well, which is, it's good, isn't it? Anyway, sorry, uh, sidetracked. Should we get on with this quiz? We should. What is today's um, subject now, all about? I was, I was going to say, it's in the, in the dar, uh, dim, dark, distant past, uh, it was the chat stream, of course, who decided that this next quiz was going to be on monsters in movies and literature. Monsters in movies and literature. Okay, well, now we did, uh, something that I've had four weeks to revise and I just haven't revised at all. I haven't even touched any, anything at all. So, e all right. Yeah, here we go. Great. Back in October, we actually had one on, on monsters before. But mm -hmm. so I went back, I reviewed that, and I've tried to avoid entirely any sort of questions there. But they are monsters, monster greats in movies and literature. Are you ready? Uh, uh, yeah. No. Chat stream. Chat, chat stream. Okay. 
Are they ready first? Well, the 61 of you so far, which is a, a, a great amount of people, so thank you so much for coming along. Remember, at quarter to the hour in about, well, about a half an hour's time, we will have time for today's first ever biscuit review in the, in the, new, build, in the new building. Biscuit review number 169. So do stick around for today's biscuit review at the end of the show. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye to the chat and I'm going to close down the chat because, of course, I can't look and see what you're answering because that would be cheating on my part. So I'm going to close it down now. Um, have a good... Don't talk about me behind my back, all right? Because I'll know. I can sense it. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Osric, Jack Little, Orange Spark, Baldy Walkie, all of the best ones. Thanks for coming along. And, uh, yeah, don't cheat. No cheating allowed. Oh, oh no. Okay. Right. Are we okay. ready? Always. Here we go. Okay, Where's question number one in today's quiz. Number one. Start you off nice and easy. I'd like to know who voiced the ogre Shrek in the 2001 American computer animated fantasy film of the same name. Sorry, who voiced what, what's the, the ogre Shrek? What's the theme? Monsters, monsters in movies and literature. Okay. Shrek, I will, I will call an ogre a monster, yes. Okay. Anna, who I, voiced the ogre Shrek? I think it's a bit rude, to be honest with you. Question number one. But, you know, I'm fine. I have their answer. <clears throat> um, question number one was, so, it's, it's, you got it already. I think that, I think there's something going on with the internet pipes here, but we're, we're piping this out fast. This is like good stuff because the chat is coming up like almost generally. immediately as I'm talking to them. So I'm going to have to go and compliment the tech team for setting up nice internet pipes. They must have got them all nice and clean. They haven't, been, they haven't had a chance to be rusted up yet. All right. So um, it's Mike Myers. Mike Myers is absolutely correct. And, would, you like uh, well, do, would you like me to do my Shrek impression? <clears throat> yes, please. Of course you please. Uh, I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't even remember. How, how is this? Is he a little Scottish like that? Is he? No, that's a bit more of a Glaswegian. Hey, he's a, he doesn't sound like that at all, does he? Oh, donkey. There you go. He's always kind least. of a bit like that. Hey, don't. Hey, you little. I've got onions. Have you ever heard of onions? I'm, I've got green ears and snot comes out of my ears. Is that right? Or is that, is that sort of? No. <laughs> I, look, well, I'm trying. I don't know. It's a little bit Sean Connery-ish. Yes. Well, uh, well, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Sean Connery, yeah. so I'm, I'm pleased with that. All right. Next to... Oh, gosh. You heard the room It's one apiece. One apiece. Okay. So Question they got number two. Right to. Yes, they... Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes Question yes. number two. Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff. Mm -hmm. He was probably more famous for his role as the monster in the film Frankenstein. But he also starred as Imhotep in this 1932 pre-code horror classic. What was the film called? Boris Karloff, he was probably more famous for his role as the monster in Frankenstein, but he also starred as Imhotep in this 1932 pre-code horror film. Easy mode. If, uh, and if I'm wrong, yeah. I'm yes. going to be very frustrated with myself. But I imagine it is... Have you got your answer? I have their answer, yes. I think that it is The Mummy. The Mummy. Uh, it is, yes, actually, the original mummy. And yeah. wonderful, you know, the, the makeup. I think it took something like seven hours to put on him. Uh, it's really good. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, you know, find some stills. I haven't seen the original mummy. I've seen the mummy with Brendan Fraser, and I've seen the mummy 2, the mummy returns with Brendan Fraser, and I've seen the Scorpion King with The Rock, but I have not seen the classic original The Mummy starring that guy that we just done. He doesn't actually now. spend... He doesn't spend that much time actually in the in the makeup. Um, he eventually, of course, becomes uh, someone who's going around. Uh, well, you, you know stories chasing after trying to find the princess and all this sort of mm -hmm. thing, and uh, with with far less makeup on because he's been assimilated into normal society. But it is it's it's, it's good fun. Cool. And they got it correct as well. Well done. So it's well done. Two points apiece. This is the improv click. Everyone click the fingers to congratulate one another. This is what you do because you can't be loud with clapping. So well done. Very, very, very hipster. Yes. Yeah, very hipster. Very hipster. <coughs> oh, by the way, quick shout out. While we've got James Turner YouTube here, I just want to do a quick shout out uh, 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 halfway through this quiz, which is not halfway through, a third of the way. I'm so, I've di look, I've, I, you can't come here expecting uh, straightforward entertainment. This is, we go off on tangents. And I just noticed James Turner is still here. While he is here, I want to say, um, check out our, our, our um, podcast if you haven't already. Uh, crossing the streams, youtube.com forward slash crossing the streams. Check it out because it is, uh, it's great, and we're really we're really ramping it up. We've got lots of episodes out, and uh, we've just hit something like three thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is really cool for us. 
uh, just two guys rambling about nonsense. So check it out. We interview YouTubers and stuff and say hi to James in the chat as well. Um, I can see the list of the chat. I know I can't see the chat. I'm not cheating. I can see the list of who is in the chat. All right. WNL, I'm sorry for interrupting. Okay. Us, uh, I, That's I, okay. I won't, That's I won't okay. do it again, I promise. Yeah, uh, okay. Don't make promises you can't keep. Question mm, number three. Number okay, three. You, it's very good. According point. to Lewis Carroll, yes. it was a manxum foe with jaws that bite and claws that catch. It had eyes of flame and whiffled through the Tolji wood, burbling as it came. Oh. What was it? Uh, According to Lewis Carroll, oh. it was a manxum foe with jaws that bite and claws that catch. It had eyes of flame and whiffled through the Tolji wood, burbling oh. as it came. A whiffled. Oh, that's a nice word. Whiffled. Um, whiffled. I, I, Have you ever played Whiffle Ball? Whiffle I've Ball is good, you know, with a plastic bat. But I can answer this question, and I can do it effectively. I have to answer it, by the way, yes. It is the Jabberwock. The Jabberwock, yes. Or we, we could call it Jabberwocky. Oh, I will sorry, accept Jabberwocky. Jabberwock, yes. Yes, I do apologize for missing off the wire. Well, no, no, no. The, 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 well, the, the poems, the Jabberwocky, but uh, they talk about the Jabberwock in the poem, okay. yes. Well done. Thank Three you. apiece, all tied up. Look, Thanks. this is a great comeback. It's the four, I need four weeks off to, to refresh my brain and help it grow and develop and eat lots of um, vegetables that help brain power. Is that true? Does that happen? Right, no, it doesn't matter. Carry on. I'm warming up to this. I'm, I'm getting back in. I'm, I'm starting to feel more and more comfortable as we, as we go. And I can't wait to get that soundproofing up on the ceiling. I can hear myself echoing around. Anyway, keep going. I'm not going Question to number four. Press. Number four. Four? We're only Listen on four. Listen carefully. <laughs> We're only on four. Right, okay. Silver Bullet. Yeah. Silver Bullet. Mm -hmm. It's a 1985 American horror Ooh. film based on a Stephen King novella. Oh. Which monster features in the film? Silver Bullet. A 1985 American horror film based on a Stephen King novella. Uh, the clue is in the title. The clue is in the title. If it's... you know about your monsters, I yes. I do, because I watched lots of Buffy the Vampire Slayer when I was growing up. And I have their answer. It is indeed a werewolf. A werewolf. A werewolf is absolutely correct, yes. Kill the werewolves. Yes! Silver bullets, yes. They yes! Can't, can't be me yet. Four, 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 yes, four. Yes, it takes cutting off heads, putting garlic in the mouth of, uh, of vampires uh, and all that sort of stuff, stake through the heart, but it's a silver bullet for a werewolf. Nice. Uh, yes, okay, and they got it correct as well. It's still... Heck, four oh, points apiece. You, you broke down there a second. Question number five. Halfway through. He's still here. He's still here. Here we go. Hi. Who has over 170 film representations to date making him the most frequently portrayed character in horror films. He's got the Ooh. highest number of film appearances overall, followed by Sherlock Holmes. This is a good question. Uh, we did Sherlock Holmes, you know, quiz a few few times ago. Last 170 time. film representations today over that. The most frequently portrayed character in horror films. Mm. I have their answer. The most frequently portrayed character in horror films. A hundred and how many? Over 170 film God. appearances. Or representations. It's a good yes. bit of, um, a, a good bit of, of trivia. Make sure you write that one down, ladies and gentle friends, for afterwards. Um, I'm going to say... Dracula. You're going to say Dracula? Yes. Uh, Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Drac. And to suck your blood and all that. Ooh. And uh, yes, it's, it's, yes, it's absolutely true. Uh, one of my favorite representations is is, is the old um, Bela Lugosi, the original. Um, well, one of the originals. What was his name? What's roundish face. Bela Lugosi. Bela Lugosi. I like to look over here every now and again as if I'm looking at the actual TV to make it look like I'm... He actually... Uh, and I see now, yeah, I have to be careful. So if I want to look at you, do I look this way? This way, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, How have you been? Hello! Oh, hey, it's, there it's, you weird. Are. it's really weird. You're actually just there, sitting right here. It's really strange. Good to see you, though. It's been a while, I've got to be honest. Um, too long, maybe. Maybe you should call me sometime. You always promise you're going to call me, and then you never do. Anyway, back to these guys. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have to go one, one, one more side. I mean, Bella Lugosi. I think the last film that he was in was one by Ed Wood. Um, uh, was it Plan 9 from Outer Space? Uh, if you haven't seen it, it is a classic for being totally 
well, horribly shot, um, discontinuities all the way through. Uh, he, he actually died halfway through the film, and they had to replace him with someone else who didn't look like him at all, but run around with a, a, a cape in front of his face. What, uh, look what, it up, yeah. How, why do you know so much about everything? I love, I love, well, I love films. I'm old. I'm old. You when you get old, old you, you, you know, as long as you have a reasonable memory, you're okay. You are old, though. But you, you have look, this to look forward to. I, I, I don't think that I'm ever going to be knowledgeable about anything. This is the, this is the, this is the problem. All right. Well, well you're I'm doing pretty well here. Yeah, yeah. This is five, five, out five, five against five. It's Good still teams. locked, though. Let's you're locked together, horns. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, in fine fettle, both of you. Question number six, then. Question okay, six. now listen carefully. These are members of a primordial race of giants. In an episode of Homer's Odyssey, the hero Odysseus, or Odysseus, encounters one called Polyphemus. Members of a primordial race of giants. What were they called, this primordial race of giants? They say Odysseus encounters one called Polyphemus in the Odyssey. The, I have their answer. I believe that it's the Titans. The Titans is incorrect. It wasn't the Titans. They're, they, they're back and different. Uh, if I told you they had one eye in the middle of their forehead, it's the Cyclops. Cyclops, Cyclops. yes. No. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, and, uh, yes, those quit. of you who really... Nope. Quit. You, no more. So you're, you're, you're behind now. It's, it's six points to five. Don't want to, don't want to carry on. Uh, <laughs> I think carry true. on. Yeah. That's, that's true. We'll be fine. For the pedants out there, uh, Cyclops, uh, the plural is actually with an ES. Okay. Yeah, come on, uh, guys. Do you dock their points? They don't get the points because they didn't spell it correctly. No, I, I, I'm going to give it to them. I love As you, said, you it's not dearly, spelled. chat and father, but I feel like it's, I feel like it's all just gone downhill now. Hey. Hey, there's time. There's time. We have four more <laughs> questions left. You could end up winning by three. I okay. I believe it's going to happen. You're going to get every okay. single question wrong from now on. Question number seven. Number seven. Listen carefully. Initially cute and cuddly, Mogwai okay. turned a bit nasty if they're fed after midnight or get wet. What's the title of the Joe Dante classic 1984 creature feature? It's Name of the nasty. film, please. Initially, they're cute and cuddly. But Mogwai, when they, well, they turn a bit nasty if they're fed after midnight or get wet. What's the title of the Joe Dante classic 1984 creature feature film? I have their answer. It is, of course, Gremlins. Gremlins is absolutely correct. And fun to watch. I mean, okay, special effects, but still very fun to watch. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of of its time a little. I watched it recently and it, and it doesn't hold up too much. But anyway, I'm not here to judge your film tastes, <laughs> WNL. You, <laughs> anyway, sorry, you keep going. I don't know why I'm, in, I'm doing this. Next question, please. By all Moving means, on. judge my film tastes. No, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, well, okay. So you both got that one correct. It is now seven points to six in favor of the chatters. Here we go. Question number eight. A shape-shifting evil appears as a clown in the 1986 Stephen King novel, It. What was the clown called? I uh, see a shape shift evil appears on in the 1986 Stephen King novel It. Yeah. What was the clown called? I just feel like I want to try and throw you all off at this point because I know you're going to know this one. Um, all right. It is, of course. Are you ready? Are you ready for my answer? I'm ready for your answer. Pennywise. Pennywise, They're yes, Pennywise. Uh, and I suppose, you know, on a, we have some, some wonderful answers from the, the chat stream as well, of course, because it was the, the, the novel It, so they said, hey, it was called It, but when it took its form or its clown form, it was Pennywise, oh. and they got that as well, so well yes, done. well done, Pennywise. Well done. Pennywise, uh, pound, proud, whatever, okay. Pound, pound. Uh, <laughs> oh, are you making a joke, are you making a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very poor. <laughs> it, was, it was tenuous, but I enjoyed it, and that's that's the most important thing. Okay, hey, we're on to question number nine. You've only got two questions in which to actually turn this around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, Here we I'm, go. You I'm could, feeling strong. I'm feeling positive. You're still ready. I feel. I feel like you I'm still going to gonna win this. First. It's fine. And then got go. go ahead. You don't need to. Yeah. Don't need to worry about me. 
Go Question ahead. number nine. Number yeah. nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the 1954 film Them, early atomic tests in New Mexico cause what to mutate into giant man-eating monsters that threaten civilization? Can we have that again? Just because I really like the way you said it's what. It's a 1954 film called what? Them. Make sure it's early the same. atomic New Mexico. Yeah. They cause what, what? to mutate into giant man-eating monsters? Ooh, what? What? Where? what? Well, there's an H in there, so you better use it, right? What? Exactly. What? I mean, you know, you don't want to get mixed up with uh, going to, to, to Wales, but ending up with whales. That's true. Yeah. You definitely don't want to mix that up, because that would be a disaster. Um, I, you know what? I'm really sad. You know what? I don't know the answer to this question. So I need to hear uh, it one more time just to delay things, because I've never seen okay. it. I, I believe it or not. I was, that, that, 1954 I, I, film. Yep. It was called Them. Mm -hmm. Early atomic tests in New Mexico cause what? to mutate into giant man-eating monsters that threaten civilization. Okay, I believe. Have you got an something, answer from this? Something sort of that could mutate into something like that. I've got a good one for you. It's the elite dangerous community. Ha ha ha! No, it's of course not really. I love you all dearly and please don't, um, I, I don't know, send me hate mail. Okay, uh, no, I've got uh, am I, I th lizards. Lizards? Mm -hmm. Lizards is uh, interesting, but uh, but incorrect. It's actually uh, wonderful little ants. Bah, humbug. That's... No, not humbugs, ants. Yes. <laughs> and this, <laughs> this is why people keep going back to this show. It's for those kind of zingers. All right, so uh, what, what's, what's the score? It was a fantastic film. It, it got me into a lot of trouble. Um, I, my, my twin brother, your, your uncle, Ed. Edward Lewis. Uh, that's right, you know, he and I sneaked out of the house to go to the neighbor's house at midnight to yeah. watch it on television. That was back when, you know, of course, long before the internet and things like this. And you had to watch things when they when they came on. 1922. Um, okay, oh. was, well, it was made in 1954, yeah. but I saw it, well, I went to see it in, in 1960. The horrible thing was... We just got to, you know, them, and, you know, the title came up, black and white film, a giant ant overturning a car or a tank or something like that, and the phone rang. And it was my father saying, what are you doing over there when you're supposed to be in bed? So you never saw the end of, of them? No. Well, that's, oh, no. maybe we should make that, we should rectify that. Let's have, a movie, let's have a movie night soon. Next time I'm back, we'll watch them in its entirety. We'll eat popcorn and stuff. Uh, Sounds good. And then Sounds you good. can call uh, me, no, it's weird. I okay. hate, I, I, I must, I must add, though, that uh, the chat stream got it absolutely spot on oh. correct. Wow. Uh, ahead by two. Have I ever won one of these? Uh, yes. Yes, you did. How many have it, we done now? We've done 30 or something ridiculous? I yes, I, I still have, I have most of them, uh, yeah, yeah, in, in, in scraps of paper and on, uh, on file. So, yeah, I, I can check it out, but we have done quite a few over the past few years, yes. It's been good. All right, so, uh, final question. I think question. you've won one or two. You've won one or two and tied one. So I, yes. can't, I can't catch now. I've lost. You, you, you can't catch. You, you have can sadly lost. You're, you're, no, you're nine points to seven down. I did pretty well, though. Seven out of ten. I'm against, what, 60-plus people? So, to be fair, like, that's not true. too bad. Like, one, one, one human brain. One, let's be honest, less than average human brain versus 60 nerds. <laughs> well, we have, we have one more question. I love you all can, so much. Get Thank back, you for being nerds. One. What? This, this final question. Again, oh. we have monsters in movie and movies and literature. Mm -hmm. And this is um, tenuous connection time. Mm -hmm. uh, got to sneak in a, a philosophical question here. Right. Uh, it is about monsters in the quotation and mentioned in the literature. So listen carefully. Which, 19th, which 19th century philosopher wrote, quote, he who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself does not become a monster. It was in his book, Beyond Good and Evil. Which 19th century philosopher wrote, he who fights with monsters should look to it oh, I know this. that he himself does not become a monster. I've got this deep down in my brain somewhere. Is, I've just got to access the brain hole vault. So give me a second. Oh, no, I know this. It's on the tip of my tongue. Spit it out. Uh, I don't have theirs yet. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, um, oh, no, it's there. And it's going to really annoy me when you say it because I know this and I want to get it right. All right. So we're going to sit here. It's half past. 
We've got a good 10 minutes left until I have to start the biscuit review. So we're going to wait <laughs> until it comes into my brain. Because I know it's there again. I, I, felt it, I felt it tickling the back of my brain then. It was going, oh, no, but do you remember it's this one? So give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Give me a clue. Don't give me a clue. Don't give me a clue. Just fill, fill, fill some space. Talk about yourself for a second while I well, meditate. Talk about myself. Yeah, go for it. Oh. In, in a very narcissistic fashion. It's like, finally, finally, the platform to talk about myself. What a surprise. Oh, no, I hate talking about myself. You're just like me. We love talking European about ourselves. Issues. Go for it. Talk, talk about fracking. Talk about anti-fracking. Do it. This is your Talk platform. about anti-fracking. Talk about, look, it's okay. Look, this is, does not represent my views. Anti-fracking. Although I agree. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen to him. Fracking, fracking. Oh, hang on. Someone's phoning me. What, do you want to answer it? <laughs> May I? Sure. <laughs> Hello, Dave. How are you? <laughs> oh, hi, Dave. We're uh, we're we're live stream. You're you're now <laughs> we're a live stream. stream quiz. What would Dave like to say to the audience? Please ask Dave what he would like to say to everyone. That's right. You'll, yeah, you'll have to watch out. Who won last night? <laughs> Yes. No, just, just, just bear with me a moment while this happens. You can answer his personal phone calls. He's a celebrity. Oh, he does, excellent. He does Fantastic. whatever he wants. He comes on this stream and he just does whatever he wants. Honestly. I'm a CWNL. He could, he, could, he could have put the phone down two minutes ago, but he's... I've got to get this. I've got to get this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. That's... That's absolutely... Yeah. Oh, but... but... Time is money, Lewis. <laughs> I'm, I can't get it by oh, the way. I'm so sorry. Right, can you put the phone okay. down? Okay, see you soon. Bye. Was it? I do apologize. Was he all right? Wrong number. Um, sorry, that, that was the secretary of our pool league. I, I, I told you that occasionally <laughs> we have a misspent adulthood with pool. And uh, last night was the best of the best tournament. I, I was a referee, but I had to lead for the final bit. All right. And in the end, um, the person who should have won, the, the Goliath figure, lost to the David. It was wonderful. That's yeah. a shame. Three I'm sorry, zip. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I can't. I'm, I'm, it, look, it's going to annoy me because as soon as you say it, I'm going to remember it and it's going to annoy me. So what is the answer to question number 10? Nietzsche. Yeah, it's Nietzsche. And to be honest, I don't know it. You know, we had a couple of flippant answers. Someone said that guy, and then someone said Batman's buffalo. They got deserve... around to Nietzsche and someone said Batman's what but... now? <laughs> Batman's butler. butler. Yeah, sure, he wrote it. Fine. Uh, well done, everybody. So, so all I can say is they got in there first, so yeah. I could technically take that away from them, but I don't think I should. They, but... they, they really did know it. Yeah. Did they really? Okay. Well, well um, done. So that's ten out. So... Of... Did they get ten out of ten? Ten out of ten. Look at you, clever, 10. lovely people. Well Next. done, everybody. I'm. Very impressed by you. That's, it's quite, well, welcome, welcome back to the chat, says Grief. Hi there. Uh, yeah, oh, and it turns out Batman's portrait was called Nietzsche as well, so it's fine. Who the hell does yeah. not know the name Alfred Pennyworth? I'm not sure what that's in reference to. But anyway, uh, hello. That's Alfred's full name, yes. It's good to see. Oh, is that, is, is that in Maybe the... it was Alfred Pennywise. In... We could have a connection oh, between Batman and Butler. It's all come round full circle now. Uh, so, uh, hey, um, again, thank you so much for coming along to being able to do the quiz today. It's very much Always appreciated. We have a, uh, a, uh, a topic that you and I selected for next week already, haven't we? Because of the fact that I've been incredibly lazy and we've been moving and I've been traveling and I've been on holiday and all those kinds of things, we've spent a lot of time apart. So we wanted, well, we'll take some suggestions from the chat anyway, first of all. Uh, because it's always fun to see what the chat, the chat want as for next week's quiz, because we will be back next Friday for another quiz as well, of course, for the BIS quiz. Same time, same place, twitch.tv forward slash Edward C. Lewis, 1 p.m. BST. Please do be here for the BIS quiz. Uh, in about 10 minutes' time, we're going to start, well, five minutes' time, we're going to start the BISQUIT. Biscuit. I can't speak today. It's I'm new to this. The BISQUIT review for today, which is 187, I believe. Anyway. So time was probably going to be what we what we do next week, uh, but uh, hello, it's Colo. Hello, shout out to hello, it's Colo. Um, and uh, Mace DK says more phone calls. That's what Mace DK wants. More phone calls, apparently. Scams. That's Orange Spark. 
Beaumont says, 80s cars. Jack Little says, Ed's childhood. He has a contractual obligation to uh, suggest that as a topic. Uh, I did not fail you. I, I, uh, it's my biscuit for you. I've got them ready right here. Look, no points for packaging, luckily, because, well, there ain't no packaging. Uh, for Volunkin, uh, says, uh, just, I don't know. I don't know what number it is. I'm not sure. Otters, says Oswick. Hammer horror movies. Uh, you missed Ed butchering a Scottish accent again. Yes, I did. Aquatic mammals. I mean, these are all good suggestions, but I think that we have already sort of settled on what we are going to be doing today, right? The novels of Will Self. I mean, it's very specific. But if that's your area of expertise, then good for you. <laughs> I like it. Uh, any more suggestions first before we move on? Um, the history of the shoe. Thrilling. You know... There's only one way that this podcast could, this, uh, this live stream could get any more uh, exciting, and that is if we did a feature all about the history of the shoe. <laughs> Great. Uh, so, so what is the topic for next week? Are we, are we, well, are we pulling rank here? Are we, are we let's, being, let's are we go, demanding let's it? Let's pull rank and go with time, but mm -hmm. I do like the shoe. I think let's, let's have the shoe the following week. You want to do the shoe next, the following we're going to do, we're I actually going to do the shoe. shoe. Shoe and shoes, after, yes. After, after I mocked it all, we're going to do the shoe. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Fair it's got to be done. It Fair has enough. to be done. Oh, as Commander Benkai says, it would have soul. <laughs> and we have done trousers already as well, so it's only fair that the shoes get their choice, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, thank sure, you for a cheer like, from JFB like 2013. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much. Um, all right. So next week time, week after, shoes, great times. So, before we go, first of all, thank you so much, WNL, for giving us your time. I know that you're a very, very busy man with your anti-fracking campaigns and you're building churches and you're uh, overseeing funerals, which is a thing that you're apparently doing now, which is really weird, uh, and you're playing pool leagues and you're just lounging around drinking nice beer. I know it's hard in retirement land, so thank you so much for coming and giving us 45 is, minutes of your time. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. And everybody in the chat, please give a massive thank you to WNL for coming here as well. Uh, throw up your little claps, emotes, or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. I don't do this. This isn't my job. Uh, and um, yes, you, sir. One last thing before we go, of course. What is on the shelf today? What is today's literature recommendation? Ah, I, I have found a book. Um, it's because you said to me in a, in a conversation a while back that you were reading some Raymond Chandler. I was reading some Raymond Chandler. It was very good. You read Payback. I didn't read Payback. I read... Um, uh, the Long Goodbye, which was really the good. The Long Goodbye. Yeah, it was good. Excellent to start with. Playback was actually the, um, the last thing he wrote, uh, uh, well, the last thing he published before he died. He died in 1959. This one was published in, uh, well, 1958. But I particularly like the, the little title at the top here. I don't know if you can see, but it says Penguin Crime. And it reminds me of Feathers McGraw in, um, it, in Wrong it, Trousers. In, the, yeah. in, Wallace and, in Wallace and the Grommet, I was going to say yeah, there, yeah, which, yeah. Which, isn't, which isn't right. But it, it's very good. I, I mean, just from the opening. <laughs> As may, as may the, okay. Sorry, yeah, go on. You, you finish. I'm sorry to talk over you. Uh, I, I'm just saying, you know, the, the, the wonderful description, you know. He says, uh, he picks up the telephone, he says, but I didn't hear too well what he said, be partly because I was only half awake and partly because I was holding the receiver upside down. Nice. Uh, and then the guy says, hey, you know, don't be so sad to me. And he says, look, he says, uh, I'm not a young man. I'm old, tired, and full of no coffee. Good stuff. It is quite it, it, Raymond Chandler is, is absolutely yeah. like consistently good stuff. Um, so do check it out if you haven't already. Weirdly, it captures a sort of it captures an essence of a time, um, even because it yeah. was written at that time. But but weirdly, everything has sort of pastiched it, not pastiched it, but uh, sort of aped it so much since in terms of noir and all that kind of stuff. Because he was one of the th the three main noir writers, wasn't he at the time? And it all just kind of it it just. It, has, it captures that mood of that 50s, uh, the 50s at the time. and the, Well, it starts up in the 40s, doesn't it? Because he comes back from war. Anyway, yeah. we're, we're rambling about literature. What a surprise. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. And what thank we're going to do, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, you're going to come back again, please? All about time. All yeah. All about time. About time. Week. All right. See you in a sec. Bye. I'll c oh, by Bye. the way, I'll call you, I promise. Honestly. Pro I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, right, call you, I'll call yeah. you tomorrow. Bye. 
And that was WNL there. Thank you so much, uh, WNL, for coming on. Uh, at the end there, doing our running joke that is that I will call him and then I never actually do. But uh, this time I promise I will because I do care about him dearly and all that. Uh, all right. Um, well, what, what more? What, what's, what's going on now? What's going on now? Oh, that's right. It is time for today's biscuit review. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to go to the back soon screen, the starting soon screen, which looks a little like this. And then I'm going to turn up the elevator music that sounds a little like this. And then I'm going to mute my microphone and I'll be back in two minutes because I've got to get a cup of tea for the dunk test. See you in a sec. Bye. Oh, um, oh, 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 o
<clears throat> it's a boobity bobbity boobity. <laughs> oh, who's, who's this? Uh, talking in this accent? Go on. Uh, what do you mean? Eh? <laughs> oh, it's only slightly uh, ray. <laughs> ray. Only no, slightly no, no, no. It's a no. It's, it's only right. slightly xenophobic. It's, it's all right because you see my granddad is speaking like this. He's speaking, he's speaking like this. Hey, welcome to the pub, Zach. How do you think about the pub? Hi. Ooh, Hi, so hello. here I'm joined by Zach Antonacci. Zach Antonacci is my boss and best friend in the world. Yes! Cheers. Most important part. Can we cheers to um, the new office? Mm-hmm. Mm. Zach, you're looking very good today, by the way. Yeah, there's all this shirt going on, isn't Thank it? Thank you. It's smart. Can we talk about this raise afterwards? Is that, is that what you're going to do? Uh, not on air. Not on air. <laughs> well, let's talk about drawing. All right, everyone. Okay. How are you all doing? Can you all hear us nice and loud and clear? Because I haven't got the headphones on anymore. I can't monitor it. Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, four. This is Zach. Does everyone remember Zach Antonacci? Zach Antonacci yeah, was the uh, head of community management here at Frontier Developments and has recently been promoted to head of communications. Ooh, ooh, look at you. Has the Don lost weight? Have you lost weight? No. No. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Definitely well, what we need to transform already. We're going to transform into the... Uh, wait, well, we'll go back to the science student screen and then, uh, ready, like, just pretend we're walking. Walking over here. Let's just walk over here. Click clock. Because we've got to go to the other room, which is the biscuit review room. Uh, we're surrounded by biscuits the one where you all have around all the biscuits us. on the walls. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if um, if well, I'm wondering. I'm wondering who's here first of all. Who the who's and the who's and the who's and the things like that. I like this new setup. By the it's way, nice, I like the fact it? that you can actually on this this one now you've got it where you've actually got the stream. Yeah. And this one's actually live. Yeah. So you can see yourself, and then a few seconds later, you see yourself moving. So don't look at that. No. That Stop terrible. looking at that because that but breaks. That breaks it. It, make, it, make, it makes a loop happen. And then if you look at that, then then it'll start looping, and it'll be like a weird sort of when you Google Google type thing. Yeah. You're not allowed to look at it because looking it'll break. Window, it's like window, sort window. of like the Matrix or breaking the Inception sort of oh, thing. Okay. So make sure you've got your little spinning top thing as well. Every now and again, spin that top thing. Oh yeah, thing. so because I know. To make sure that you know that but you're not in the But then how do you know the at the end? Was it actually going to fall I, or not? I how don't do you know. know. How, how do I know which one I am? Uh, Muzipan, Jack Little, Volux Arquitas, Futuristic KF, Joel VV, all of the best ones are here. Thank you so much. What have we got to read today? Well, mm. very special occasion. Okay. These yeah. are from I Talk In Very Single Words Now. Who's that? Someone. <laughs> that's not. That's not a person. That's not a great name. These are. Yeah. We we moved into our new studio here. If you don't know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, friends, that we moved into our new studios recently. I think you all did know that. And we have a new bar down there called the Space Bar, which is our canteen, which is very cool, named by Dominic Corner, who works here. And these are <laughs> green weird. Stop saying things like that. I'm not having a joke. It's very very, <laughs> very naughty. These are mm. from the. Why am I talking like this again? I I, I do not know. No, these are from mm. the canteen. It's kind of Christopher Walken esque. Taking these are from, oh, from the can I can't do that. Two mice. Wow! Oh, wow! Bowl, bowl and the bowl of butter. milk. Bowl uh, churn the butter. <laughs> uh, it's a bad impression, but I thought I'd try it anyway. So we've got these. And I don't know what the camera is like. Into let's let's increase the size. So these, there's yours, by the way. So you can you feel free to hold that. Oops, it's chunky. And look at look at there it you is, go. It's, yeah, it's that that you want to see. Look at that. That's the it's, it's a good depth. chunk. It's a good look depth. The depth in there. There's no points for packaging in this game, but these are the ones that are homemade should, by our canteen. I should hope it's not points for packaging because because it's a bag. It's a paper bag. It's got it's covered in grease. It's on the floor. Great. The first thing to be thrown on the floor in the streaming. Brand room. new streaming, new streaming setups. Set like top, super. Toss it asunder. The super. Uh, like we're gonna give you the best streaming possible and just. There you go. Bag. Sorry. Whatever. Bag. Whatever. Just throw the crumbs on the floor. We'll get. Oh, we'll get the cleaners to clean up. You know, we'll get the cleaners to deal with it. I don't know these sorts of things around here. All right. I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay. Better than Shrek. Winky face. Don't know what that means. Do the okay. bag trick. I don't know what the paper bag trick is. <laughs> Am I supposed to know what the I don't know either. Uh, right, basically, well, there's one thing missing, Zach. We've got our cups of tea, Yorkshire tea. It's the only tea for me, of course. We have um, Zach, I have my guest. We have our biscuits. One thing that we don't have, and I'm trying to remember what it is, um, and this is the most pantomime part of the segment, mm -hmm. and actually, I'm a bit nervous because I can't remember where I put it, and that's not a joke either. Uh, do you know where it is? 
I don't know what you're looking for. Oh, you your do. spreadsheet. Exactly, it's the spreadsheet. Why are we whispering? I think because it's everyone a knows what you're it's getting. It's a secret. Everyone knows what's required. It's the official biscuit testing spreadsheet. As you can see right behind us, Open look this. at this at the top, all the way. We have the name, the appearance, the taste, the texture, the durability, the dunkability, the post dunk taste, the satisfaction, the moorishness, and then of course, a total score at the end. Sitting clearly at the top is a homemade biscuit by Sarah. But my personal choice, well, we've got the Fortnum Mason Strawberry and Cream Afternoon Tea Biscuit in at fourth place, and Jeff's chocolate butterscotch chip pecan cookies. Mm, Jeff's. Boy, boy, boy. Mm. They were very good. Old family friend of ours um, made them for me. Not J. And also, yeah, Hotel Chocolat uh, Caramel Handmade Shortbread. You get, they, get the, they get the Ed's Choice, which is also um, uh, in Comic Sans. Mm. Okay, oh, yeah, so see. we have done, let's have a look. That's how many biscuits we've reviewed here. This is biscuit review number 171. And we're going to call them Cause, cause Space the Bar. Because the top of the title. Yeah, just in case people were wondering why it said 170. Because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to make spreadsheets. I don't know how to spreadsheet. That's not what I do. I come on and just be silly. That's all. That's okay. what you pay me for, right? That's, no, we, we love your open office skills. My open office skills. <laughs> all right. Okay. So what happens now? We, oh, no way, it's my show. Yeah, I know. No, I, I know this bit. We get crumbs all over the new equipment. Ugh, it's feeling horrible. All right, space bar white chocolate cookie. That's what we're gonna call it, okay? White chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Uh, for any vegans out there, I'm sorry, this is not a vegan option. Are any of them? S some of them are. I've got, I've done, got I've a, done a couple of cookies, vegans. I'll tell you what's vegan. Uh, ginger, lettuce. ginger nuts, Oreos, lettuce. Lettuce is, le it's ladies and gentlemen, le <laughs> lettuce. If you're looking for a good vegan <laughs> snack, <laughs> biscuit, go for lettuce. All right, space, so. An apple? Hello, it's Colo. Hi, vegan here. So there you go, you see, we're, we're doing. Hi. We're doing strong customer public announcements. Good. Uh, consumer just, advice is the word the, I was looking just for. Just the, strong these are consumer usually advice. made with like non vegan ingredients, right? Normally. T they tend to be. Yeah. How's the smell? There's no smell. Appearance. You <laughs> liked how it looks chunky. Smell. You thought it looked really chunky and good. Yeah. Yeah, it was just good. It's not fancy, but it's good. It's, you know, I'd, uh, it, it was in. Let me tell you where it was. It was I know that packaging is not... Uh, there's no points of packaging in this. It was in a delightful glass bowl container. And all of them it's stacked like up little... together. Yeah, and it was very posh. Like, oh, And he got the little tongues out, and he took two out for me, and he popped in a little paper bag. Tongue, not tongue. I, I say you tongues. Mean... No, <laughs> don't just... Make up. That did not answer anything. You just went... <laughs> yeah, he didn't get one out with his tongue. Oh, with, oh he got he got a little pair of tongues, tongues. But he could have got his he could have used yeah. his tongue. I wouldn't have I would have minded. Would I would have, have I would have refused service at that point. He <laughs> anyway <laughs> doesn't matter. The point is that it looked really lovely, and that in a little packaging, I was like, oh, delightful. All right. So appearance. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go out straight of 10. in. Do it. Seven. Seven. I'm I'm drooling. Seven. Seven. It's nice and chunky. It's a good bake throughout. It's all right. Uh, it, seven. It, it's not fancy, though. I don't know if it says it's a seven. I'm going to go for okay. 6.8, just to be contrary to your okay. taste. Just Arguably the most... Yeah, just because I don't... Life. Just because that's... Yeah, because I'm constantly every day. Our, no matter what you say, I have to say just a lot. Like, I totally agree, agree with you, but, but I just... If we change it yeah. this way... Yeah, you ready? Cool. All right, just one little... So just taste, Remember, you've got to have enough for the dunk test, so yeah. I'll give the most important part. Mm. Mm. Better than bugs. Mm, God. <laughs> Is the canteen watching? Yeah, all the all the all of them are just lined up around here, watching. I'm going in for the second bite immediately. I don't know what that says, but I'm going straight in. Not think? too sickly. It's all right. It's nice. It's not too sweet. It's not too mm. much. Mm -hmm. It's not too sickly, not too buttery. The chocolate chips are nice and chunky in there. I didn't get a chocolate chip. Did you not get one? You can't get chip in there again. <laughs> Go on, lad, get stuck in. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> what a ridiculous show. I'm sorry. Um, it's fine. Hmm? It's just, it's quite, it's, it's standard. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's a nice homemade cookie. There's nothing wrong. But there's nothing wrong. Is there anything right with it? It's, it's at a decent standard of homemade cookie. Mm -hmm. I like. So that's, yeah, I like. I'd say it's seven. 
That's where I would. That's where I placed the same as the seven point one. Yeah, just to be concerned. Seven seven four slash one. <laughs> seven point one. Seven eleven. Seven eleven. Seven point one. Oh. Texture. I thought it was a little sandy, a little grainy. I was wanting a little softer, a more a softer cookie, and it was actually. It's like it doesn't know what it wants to be. It was trying to. It was maybe a little too crunchy at times. It's not parts. like a soft in the middle cookie. No, which I wanted. But it's not like a crunchy, crumbly cookie no. that's like crunchy, crumbly. It doesn't know. It's got an identity crisis. It's, it's somewhere between the two, isn't it? However, it, it's in no man's land. What I would say, no crunch land. And what mm. I would say is the 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 the, the white chocolate chunks in there. Sure. Sack review, not physically, that's a recommendation, exactly. Yeah. The white chocolate chunks in there, I think, add to the, the, there's a big, like, if you get a, like a boulder every now and again, you're like, yes, there it is. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, so I think that adds to it. I, I think it's good. I think it's solid. Six. Oh. 6.5. Okay. Contrary. No, I'm going to go higher. No, no, you're right. We, I, I, yeah. Durability, this is where you take a look at durable. your legs and you see whether you've got lots of crumbs. Not that many. I don't say that's a solid biscuit. In fact, if yeah. anything, that's its greatest qualities, its durability. It's durability. And maybe it's dunkness, because... Well, we'll find out, won't we? Maybe. We'll find so out in a second. It's Eight. a strong, it's a strong, durable 8. biscuit. 8.4. Okay, great. Dunkability. Uh, do 8.43? No. You'd be screwing the entire system at that point. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, you that's would. Just how, that's not how numbers work. No, that's how, that's, that's how my numbers work. <laughs> like, I'm very picky about how my numbers work. Are you ready? <laughs> screw the entire system. You'd screw my entire system. What are you doing? I'm breaking it so I can get done. That's gonna, that's gonna drip. All right. Do they? Yeah, right, so you hold it in for three seconds, then Whoa. you go the Look at that, see, you've... Shush. Uh, one, two, no, three, do it. Oh. Three, one, two, three, and reveal to the camera. Oh, dripping sounds. <laughs> very, very fun. Are we gonna go for a double dunk? It seems soft already. I'm nervous about losing half of this biscuit that cost me a pound. One, two, two three. three. No expense spared, Lewis. I'm putting it on expenses later. I want to get oh, approved okay. by you. No, ex well. no expense, Lewis, but totally expense, Lewis. actual expenses. I'm not risking it. Yeah, it's it's literally gonna, it's falling. Gonna, it's going to be slight. It's, it's going to be splashed down. Uh, I like this. Transformed after a dunk. That was, was great. much better after a dunk. Oh, it was great. I'm so oh, you going to drop that in. one. Yeah. That is how this biscuit was made to be eaten. I feel really good about that. Hmm. Look at those reading the chat, seeing what they're saying. Now the integrity is ruined. Mm. Nice, Zach. What integrity? Mm. Whose integrity? Ed's integrity. The biscuit's integrity. Oh, the biscuit's integrity. But thanks for thinking it's all my integrity straight away. Integrity, All right, yeah. dunkability. It didn't Very survive. It didn't survive. This young man. It didn't survive the double dunk. No, it did, really. it did, it did, but it would have fallen apart out of a triple, so it's a six. If I'd held it any longer, that would have gone in. But the post on taste was oh, I'd 8. Given it point nine. Yeah, minimum. Maybe a nine. nine. Yeah, Let's nine, go for nine. Point, it, was, it was fantastic. Nine point one four. Nine point one. No, we're not doing Two, that. I told you this. I told you this. Two, the average is down. <laughs> average is down. Nice shirt, Ed. Thank you so much, Burkett two five nine. I like this shirt. It's pizza. All right. Um, satisfaction. Also, to be clear. <laughs> Sorry to everyone you need listening to, you need for to, that. You need to find your soul. You've sneezed it out now. Let's find it somewhere around the room. Found it. Put it back in. Good. Satisfaction. So this is where we throw science to the wind because of curses. Uh, if curses, 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 it's easy for me to say. Because of course, this entire process has been incredibly scientific, as we all know. Hmm. What was your satisfaction? How did you feel? I'm going to do another sneeze in a minute. Look at the light. Don't look at the light. No, do you look at the light. No, do you want to sneeze? Don't look at the light. No, I don't want to sneeze. That would Why be terrible. Because because you're going to finish that. Uh, it's like I'm there like... Pop it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. Oh. Um, <clears throat> but is the satisfaction post dunk or pre dunk? It's overall. It's your overall feelings. Just stop being so analytical, logical about it, Zach. For once in your goddamn life, just, just, just imagine that it's just like, how do you feel right now? Tell me how you feel right now about the biscuit. Out of ten. I mean, I feel reasonably satisfied. I'd like this other half, so mm. I'm gonna mm. go with a, a, a probably. A, 6.31. I'm going for 7.4. No! <laughs> All right. That's going to skew the results entirely. No, no, no. That's how numbers work, Zach. That's not how numbers work, gonna, Edward Lewis. Gonna, you can't look. Everyone else has got a total. Just go to, go to the next one. Go to the next one. You're never coming back. <laughs> Morishness. The last Morishness. biscuit review. Morishness. 
How much more do you want another one? Uh, after this half, I think I'd be good. So you zero? <laughs> like, wow. No, I really want this other half, but it's just a very stodgy cookie. I it really is a bit of a stodgy cookie. You don't I want feel, multiple. I feel a little like... And I don't think it's fair, because if you take the amount... The amount of cookie that's there versus like mm. a regular like mm. biscuit, mm. right? If you take like a digestive, yeah. there's way more cook. That's like two digestives in one. Yeah. So, whatever. Pick a number. Don't touch my keyboard. Stop it. Oh, chaos. <laughs> He's invited chaos into the room already. I can already tell you I'm going to come Six. in here when Ed is not here. Don't do that. And I'm going to edit don't, those numbers. Don't edit those numbers. You don't know where to find it. It's very, very yeah, deep. You don't know where to <laughs> find it either. Wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's bells going off in the room. There's lots of things happening. Okay. I'm sorry for causing it to pop there. Uh... Why is Jack doing my voice? Oh, right. a range. Oh, dear. 57.3. I'm sorry, I'm now just gassy on the stream, and I do apologise, gas as you go. All right, 57.3 is... We have it in... Let's find out where it is. Now, do you see, this is why, if you'd have given the second decimal place, this would yeah. have been above the 57.3s, but actually, below the 57.6s. Actually, you're right, aren't you? That's how numbers work. We should start putting more numbers in here, because... It would just help break them up a bit. Yeah, but how much longer is it going to take to actually review this? I don't know. Well, surely you just put the... Just say what you see. Anyway, position 84 or 83 out of 171 is very good. That's top half, is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Sorry. Just... It is. It is. It is. Look, I did some maths really quickly. Maths is not my strong point, ladies and gentlemen, friends, as you know. Um, but there you go. Uh, space bar, white chocolate chip cookie, well done uh, for being very middling to average. Well done. Dunk it right yeah. in there. All right, while you drink that, it's time to do one last thing. And that is to crank up this elevator music, just that little bit, and say thank you to everybody who's come along to watch this week. Um, it's very important mm. uh, that we thank everybody for coming along. Um, so. I want to say, hey, we'll be back next week with live streams. The room is set up, as you can see. We're going to be putting in some soundproofing, so the sound, you'll sound even better as well next week. Uh, so we're going to be doing uh, the Twitch streams again next week, and the Wednesday evening stream, and the Thursday stream. So on streams Monday, return. streams return properly. Yeah. Yay. So the Twitch streams, uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Frontier Developments from Monday. Uh, don't change things. Don't I want that? Oh, you want to see the? You tell Ed in the chat how much you're looking forward to the streams coming back. There we go. If you're happy for the streams to come back, if not, tell Ed you don't want the streams to come back. Don't say that. Don't say that. If you if you don't if you can't say my mum my mum always used to say she nice. didn't she never said that no one's mum ever said that no but if they did everyone but if they did if you can't say I honestly can't wait to see Rick I'm happy with two of the streams thanks to the streamers for the toad more streams Aww. yeah what more streams. Right, sorry. That's great. I've got to do my. I've got to do my last bit, and that's where we say goodbye to everybody. I'll start. Streams so, should be mandatory. They are. They are mandatory. They are literally. But we're back mandatory. next week. Just look around for my. Follow me on Twitter. I would see those funny stuff if you want to look at schedules. Carl tweet out. All right, Bowman. Thank you so much, Baldy Wookie. Thank you so much, Batexka. Thank you so much, Bell Wolvie. Thank you so much, Big Fun Art. Thank you, Commander Benkai. Commander Ushiny. Commander Pyrodrick. Commander Fingers. Commander Jolin. Commander Miggles. Three hundred fourteen thousand one hundred nine. Commander Cabrian. Commander Fostike. Cosmogrog. Siberian. Good to see you. DCF Miguel13, Dead Meat Girlfriend, which is a very strange name. He's changing, he's changing the numbers while I'm doing my bit, and it's very, it's very unsettling, very unprofessional. I'm going to complain to HR. Durgel, I'm going to complain to my line manager. Uh, Zach, you, it's you, I hate you. DoomWZ, Edelweiss, Electrical Skateboard, which is the coolest of all people. Four Lions, one, Fovlunkin. For, I, I can never say his name. I, um, know, him, I know him in real no, life. I'm so, like, Would you like to take the so next well. few? No, because I have dead All right, Fovlunkin, Fram... Oh, your eyes are dead, mate. You've got, got dead, dead eyes. Dead eyes, mate. Uh, Frambitan, Futuristic KF, Hello, It's Colo, HR, Italy. I fly an X-Wing. I got a roam. I got a roam. Sometimes you just got around. Uh, Jack Little, Joel VV, Joris006, JSB3213, Juts, Kanjo, Caleb Dark, Lord Shooty, Mace DK, thank you, Mustang Bond, thank you, Muzipan, thank you, Micah, thank you, Orange Spark, thank you, Osric42, thank you, Panda Trap underscore, thank you, Burkett259, thank you, Red underscore Munchkin underscore Gaming, thank you, Ruby Fans, thank you, Smintilly, thank you, Snow Monk, Spytex, Stephen Carry, Uber Dodo, Unky Stevie, Unky Steve, I'm Unky Steve, Unky Steve, Unky Unky Steve, 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 Unky Underscore, underscore, underscore. Thank underscore, you, Zach, underscore, man. Underscore, that's underscore. very, very important. So thanks again for coming along, and um, 
We'll be back next week with uh, lots more. Why am I getting slapped? No one slapped no one. You dirty rascal. In the meantime, Why so am I this, dirty rascal? this weekend, right? Look after yourselves. Give each other little strokes on the shoulders and uh, just pay each other compliments, okay? And, well, we're out, so see you next time. Bye. So, yeah, I think I think I've pressed the right button there. We're off, I think. Yep, we're off. Uh, offline. So, seriously, I do actually want to talk about Siren a little bit, if that's all right. Okay. I'm not really... I'm not feeling very... Sad. I mean, I come out and do these streams, you know... The mandatory streams. Mandatory streams that I, that I come out and do and, and put all of my effort into. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love the community. I love these guys in the mm. chat so much, but I just feel like I need at least a 400% increase in pay. Okay, well you know that you do a great job and we think that you're you're really incredible. Yeah. I know that the, the community mostly, mostly think it's really good. There's mostly, a few, some yeah. of them I need to turn, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm working on it. We're, we're working on it and yeah. I think that, you know, let's... Yeah. I mean, 400%, uh, I've seen your work with numbers. Are you yeah. sure that that's the number that you <laughs> need? <laughs> it's like, it's because that raises me to four pounds a month. <laughs> yes. I mean, we can uh, bring in four bags about Harry Bows next week. Oh wait! We're still alive! Whoa!